Well, I, I always felt even before uh, I, I came to the Chiefs, the Raiders and their uh, arrogance uh, were something that irritated the Chiefs early on. But I can tell you without question, it irritated Marty Schottenheimer. <laughs> that was the team to beat within our division. You put that big red dot on that team from that point forward to go, I don't care what it is, that's the team you're gonna beat. The Raiders were good. They were a good football team, so it meant something when you beat them, and the Chiefs did it regularly. 10 out of 11 times, Schottenheimer has beaten the Los Angeles Raiders. When Marty Schottenheimer got here, it was unbelievable the domination. It never happened, ever, that one team so dominated the Raiders. I always asked him for uh, 10 years, you know, what did the Raiders or Al Davis do that yeah, upset you so greatly? All Marty ever said to me was, I don't like people that think they're above the law. Yep, Smith taking on tacklers. Robinson got him, and it's going to be close to a first down. Now a fight starts up. We've got Chiefs and Raiders going full tilt. Big fight going on to 23. Big fight. Major oh, slugging. Marty Schottenheimer has said more than once that he thought Lamar Hunt was the finest man he'd ever met. And he viewed Al Davis as disrespectful. For Marty, it became a crusade. We'll wear him down. Let's go. Let's wear him out. He knew it was extremely important to Lamar, that history, that series, and, and therefore it became extremely important to him. And, um, and it, it showed. He's got a touchdown! 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 Kansas City! Monday night, Kansas City magic has struck again! You know, there's this almost irresistible temptation to think your team is not just better, but there's better people. We have more character. We do things the right way. Well, in that instance, that might have been a little bit true. This is us! We got our people! Let's light the fuse and kick some ass! Marty was a master motivator, and in the Raiders, he had a villain. He had somebody to point his team towards and say, look, we take those guys out. We're better people for it. There was really a, a sense of good and evil, and I think that played a big role in them coming together as a team and a franchise. Let's build our house. Let's go. Focus and finish. Boat's loaded, man. Let's roll. The Raiders had gone about business the wrong way. They had, had been a cheap shot team. They didn't represent the spirit in which the NFL should be played. And that when his team took the field, it was not just the Chiefs playing the Raiders, but it was the league and what it stands for and the respect that it deserves against these, against these Raiders. I mean, their name says it all, right?